coming out of your neck like men in black. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to vlog our day. Um, not a full day of eating because... Uh, there is no eating. We're not eating. We're in the middle of a 72-hour fast. But I am going to get ready to finish up editing the video, and then I'm going to head out the door. You, my dear, have to go work on Fearless Friday. I do. I'm going to ride it right now. Okay. So it's about 8.30 in the morning, and I am getting a late jump on the day. I mean, I've been up since about 6.30, but I was working on videos. I wanted to edit our vlog that we were releasing this morning. I was trying to work on the elementary stuff for church for Easter Sunday because there was a problem with it. I filmed everything in the building, not with my cameras, but with the church cameras, and something caused like a one and a half second delay between the audio and the video. So I had to like take the audio out of the video and then try to basically match up the lips with like reading lips to try to get everything synced back up. So that's gonna take some time to get all that fixed. Uh, but right now it's, like I said, about 8.30. We're about 32 hours into our fast. I'm getting that burst of cold but energy at this point. I did sleep last night with my chili bed, which uh, my chili blanket, which we're gonna talk about a little later. Uh, and I actually had a decent sleep. It was really interesting having the weighted blanket on me, uh, but I was very, very comfortable. In a changing world, it's nice to know there are some things that never change. And that is the laundry pile will always be here, no matter what, like a security blanket. Actually, there may be a security blanket in this giant laundry pile. Who is generating all of this laundry? Tabitha can't even deal with it. So we're at Cumberland Farms right now. The boys are inside getting something to eat. They wanted something to eat on the way to uh, cutting the church. And I'm going to fill up the truck and all the mowers with gas. Now on this fast, I'm not drinking any coffee because I don't like coffee without some kind of a creamer in it. I mean, I can drink it a little bit with some stevia or monk fruit, but I really, the, it's a little too bitter for me. I like to have some cream or something, some butter, something like that. Uh, so instead of that, I'm actually drinking a water that has a half a scoop of the Perfect Keto salted caramel ketones in it. So that's uh, like 7.5 calories. Uh, the reason I decided for the ketones is it'll give me a little boost of energy. It, it's not super long lasting, maybe like a half hour or so. Uh, but uh, ketones, one of the biggest thing about them is when you do have them, they are bound to electrolytes. So w it will up my electrolytes a little bit and then I'll have a bunch of red mints and stuff later on. So for this fast, we're not doing like water only. Like Rachel's still drinking coffee. I'm drinking a Xevia or whatever. And like I said, I just decided that I was gonna have a ketone drink instead of coffee. Grayson does not like it when I come and sit in daddy's chair. He's like, that is not your chair. That is my daddy's chair. What are you doing there? Are you gonna come get me? I can sit in daddy's chair if I want. Are you pacing? You seem very judgy right now. Seriously, I can sit here if I want. Okay, so I had to run out for an errand today. I needed to come and pick up some more boxes from a local warehouse so that I can continue doing shipping. Um, I do have a mask that covers all the way from my throat to my eyeballs, and then I have safety goggles for my eyeballs, but I don't think I'm even going to come in contact with anybody. What you're supposed to do when you come to pick up here is you tell them what space that you're in, they wheel out your order and then you have to load it yourself and then you honk and they come and take the um, cart back that had your order on it and you really just have no contact with a person because you're telling 
um, the operator inside what your name is and that's kind of like you, you know working as your signature to pick up your order so it's just so sad and impersonal and I know these guys that work here and I know that they want to be super helpful and help you load your order and you know just have like a nice conversation wish you a good day but it's just really not a possibility right now and um, it just makes me really sad because I love people and I love interacting with people so I am thankful for the errand because I'm having a hard time fasting today just getting away from all of the snacks and stuff so um, just having the reason to get out and drive in the car was a good disconnect for me to just get out and get away from the house and all of the temptations that make my fasting plan difficult. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. I know you're thinking that, wait a second, didn't they start this vlog on Friday? Because there was a point where I did say we're 32 hours into our fast. Mm -hmm. We had full intentions on vlogging our day yesterday. We were completely committed, but then we realized we were also committed to finishing Easter services, doing all of that videoing. I had to make about a bajillion calls and like, yeah, we were over committed. Yeah. So between that and our fasting and everything else, we didn't vlog. So we're going to do a two day vlog. Never done this before. We're still fasting. Yep. We're going to finish the fast tomorrow morning. I'm super excited because I found some packages of like high tea pancake mixes and stuff. Completely forgot about it. And then Autumn from Watch Autumn Keto was live streaming this morning and she was talking about how like they get these baking mixes and I'm like, wait a second, we've got some. Let's have an Easter breakfast. So we're gonna, we'll break our fast with a bone broth in the morning. Right. And then we're gonna do like an Easter breakfast and have like a couple of high key pancakes, some eggs, some bacon, kind of like a traditional Easter. I think it'll be special. Yeah. So we actually right now are going to go egg some houses. But so, not in a mean way. Not in a mean way. So we're going to bring the camera along and show you guys what we mean. What are you doing? I'm putting up my Easter cross. Because he's risen. Yay! Okay, so we got these signs a couple of years ago for like volunteers we thought like just every once in a while we can stick one on somebody's house to make them feel special and we found them cleaning in our garage so we thought why not actually go make some people smile yeah give them like an easter surprise so this is one of our volunteers and this person actually serves three different services every single sunday so what a great way to make them smile is special to us. So we decided that since we can't let kids go to Easter egg hunts, we would bring the Easter egg hunt to them. Absolutely. So Rachel went this morning to Dollar, to but no, Big Lots, right? Big Lots. And they were doing 50% off all, all of their Easter stuff. And we're just putting some bags of eggs in front of some kids' houses that live in our neighborhood just to bring a little smile to them. And then their parents can just take these and kind of spread them around the lawn and let the kids have their own Easter egg hunt. Right, without us touching them. Yeah. So we're in the middle of watching the live stream for so Keto nice. Chow. Had to stop and get gas and I just had to pop in. Love the fact that I just paid $1.55 a gallon for gasoline. That's This is awesome. What, what decade are we in right now? It cost me $9 to fill up the car. This is awesome. I love cheap gas prices. Me too. Since we're out, we figured we'd check the mailbox. Yeah, we got some mail. What's in the mail today? I, I like the other one. You got mail. You got mail. So this is actually from Gigi, Gigi girl. girl. I don't Hi, know Gigi what's in here. Girl. It feels like a purse. With bags? Whoa. What is this? Oh, cool. They're like tote bags. Oh, my goodness. These it actually has our names on it. Awesome. I wish we weren't so zoomed in. These are so rad. These are cool. Oh, there's and then there's a couple with no names. Wow. On that Thank is so you awesome. so much. There's a little card, but I don't think we should read on. I don't know if we're allowed to read on it. Let's see. 
I would only make these for two crazy ketos. You guys make my day. Once again, I learn something new every time I watch you two. You have never, we have never met, but you two are my friends. Love you, Gigi girl. Well, thank, thank you, Gigi you. girl. This is so awesome. Mm -hmm. I really like we these. We love you. Let's go egg some more houses. Let's do it. Hurry up. You're going to get caught. I don't want to get caught. So this is a lot of fun, but I like to try to run away before they see me. So yeah, that's the challenge. And I'm not a runner, so it's kind of scary. This is the last one. Are you sure you're not a professional runner? You're really good at that. Please don't catch me running. It's well, we're back home and uh, we egged what, uh, 10 families? As many as we could find pre-filled eggs for. Well, halfway through, Rachel's like, hey, there's a big lots over here. Let's stop and see if they had any more. So we have to have masks in the car because Always you're now. not allowed to go into the store without a mask on. So we got some more eggs, like three more packages. And we also found this, look at this. Please. Max Max original uh, pork skins, no flavoring or anything like that. 25 cents a bag. We also found the 90s game, which we're gonna play right after our live stream. Social isolation at its best. I get to spend the day home with my wife and we play board games. Who knows more about the 90s, me or you? What do you think? What's your Absolutely prediction? Absolutely you. If it was the 80s, it would be me. 90s is definitely gonna be you. I got a meat slicer. slicer. I think it's kind of funny. It's not even in a box. Yeah, that's exactly how it came. Now, I actually got this one. It may go back. I'm hoping this is big enough for a slab of bacon because then we can slice it just a little bit thinner. But if it doesn't, then I may just return it. But I'm looking like our front room is starting to look like a shipping station. It really is. Some of this stuff needs to go into the she shed. No, none yeah. of it. Why is my office get used for storage, but not the she shed? I won't even answer that question. I'll let everyone else answer that question in the comments down below. Roscoe, this is my blanket. It's not on chili so that you could lay on top of it. What are you doing, Roscoe? I told mommy you brought home a mouse last night. Thank goodness. Roscoe. I didn't get it. Yeah, he brought you home a nice mouse last night, but I was nice and I didn't let him in the bedroom. He's such a good kid. Nope, he's looking for you now. You you started with him. <laughs> he's such a good cat. He's the loudest purr ever. So we got this blanket. This is the chili blanket. And it comes in two pieces. It comes with this weighted blanket. It's like 15 pounds. And then it comes with this. You can actually buy the blanket without this. Like if you have the bed and just want to be able to kind of go back and forth, or if you want to be able to have the blanket move it around to a different room, you might want to get it with this. So this is the thing that like warms or cools the water and you just fill it up with water. And then you can turn it on and set whatever temperature you want, either hot or cold. Then it also has this remote control, which does the same thing. This piece here, actually, we just like stored down below the bed and it's not here if you want to listen listen Rachel and it's not super loud it's like I don't know I, I guess like a, a low fan and then what I like about the blanket is this cover actually comes off so you can see inside this is the weighted part the wa this could be washed and then in here in these little pieces here you really can't see them on camera but there's little tubes and in these tubes, that's where all the water is running that's either been cooled or, you know, like, uh, heated up. Look at the, the cat's enjoying this bed. Cat's like, how dare you come near this bed? And see, he's got the whole bed. He only wants to be on this because of the fact that it has a temperature to it. So like I said, this is the actual blanket that would lay on top of you as like a weighted blanket or you can get the mattress pad, which you lay on top of. Both of them are gonna do the same thing. This is just a weighted blanket. We're gonna try it both ways. We're gonna try like having the cooling mattress pad below us and then the blanket on top of us out of the weighted blanket to see what that does. But it's interesting to see what's happening with my sleep because I, aside from not getting enough sleep, I'm a very restless sleeper. I toss and I turn. And with my aura ring just in the first two days, it's saying I'm, 
I'm getting much better sleep. My REM sleep is deeper. It's longer. I'm not restless anymore. And I'm falling asleep within like five minutes of getting in bed. Whereas before it would take me like 30 minutes to an hour to fall asleep. So we're going to keep using it for a couple weeks. Then we're going to do a full review. The blanket though is much cheaper than the bed. The beds like for a king size bed are, they start I think at like $600 all the way up to like $1,400 if you get their very, very best one. The blanket with the chilling unit, I think it's like $500, but they're having a sale right now where you get $150 off. So I think it's like $350 if you buy the blanket with the cooling unit, which makes it really cheap considering the blanket alone is like $300. Are you ready to play our game? I am. What are we playing? We're playing We Love the 90s. We Love the 90s. Does anybody else have just like stacks of pillows throughout their house? I mean, hey... We don't have like matching sheets or anything like that, but who cares, right? We're very functional. But we do sleep with a lot of pillows in between us, underneath our legs. The cat needs to have their own. Roscoe. Well, and every time somebody else gets a new pillow, I get like, the old ones. Pillow. So what do you do when you're in the middle of a fast for Easter? You smoke some bacon so that it's ready for Easter morning when you break your fast. We're gonna have some good bacon for breakfast. I can't wait. Because yeah, in the middle of a fast, what did I decide to do? Smoke some fresh bacon. And I was thinking like, I smell something delicious that I cannot have. <laughs> that was super intelligent. We're in church too. We're in church. We are doing Easter online on church right now. It is six o'clock on Saturday. And we are in the live stream and just commenting and interacting with people. It's so awesome. And we get to do it in bed. It's kind of cool, like, doing church, laying in bed like this, isn't it? It's kind of awesome. We just got off of watching the live stream for our church tonight, for Saturday night, for Easter weekend. And wow, what an incredible message Pastor so awesome. had. I'm going to leave a link for it down below if anybody wants to watch it. If you're looking for you know, a church service to watch for Easter. It, it was just amazing. But he shared the most amazing news and it just shows you this is what our church is about. This is what Jesus is about. You want to share what our church was able to do for people? We were able to pay off the medical debt for more than 2,000 families this Easter. because yeah, Jesus, Not us personally. No, the church. <laughs> um, because medical debt, it weighs on you. Yeah. I mean, it's when you owe a debt like that, I mean, you can't think about anything else. And so to kind of get the point across that Jesus paid our debt and what that means yeah. to you, man, we paid off the medical debt for over 2,000 families. It equates to about $3, three million. million dollars. Over $3 million in medical debt. It is so amazing. Paid in full. So proud. They'll be getting that letter this week that that burden is off their shoulders. Anthony, oh. you do realize that we're fasting. He's yeah. making all this delicious And you're making this. food in a cast iron pan. And what is it, chicken? Yeah. Stop making food. You have to go on a fast with us. Yes, I have. Look at this. Look what he's making. And you're staring at it in front of it. I want some like of that. Pouting. I know. I feel like how Tabitha feels when she's like begging for food, but like not saying anything. And you're just like, like, that's me. Where'd you take the bottle? We're going to get him to go keto yet. Good morning. It is Easter Sunday. He is risen. He is risen. Is there coffee? There isn't, but you need to make some. So we are, what, about 80 hours into our fast. We're gonna go probably like another hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. This is the hardest hour. Yeah, this is the worst time when you know it is about to end, but we are going to, uh, I'll make coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the bacon that we smoked yesterday. I'm gonna slice it up so that we can have that for breakfast. We are going to have bacon, eggs, pancakes, and coffee. That's well, gonna be breakfast. That makes waiting a little bit easier. Yeah, and what are you gonna do? Take a bath. Yeah. It's Easter Sunday. So what are you working on, Mr. Baconator? I am slicing our bacon that came out of the smoker. I smoked one of the pork bellies yesterday. The other one I was trying to um, get to get a little bit of a crust on. So that one's going in the smoker now. And we're trying out our new slicer to see if we can get this just a little bit thinner than we hand cut it. So I would still say this is 
a thick cut bacon. Oh yeah. But it's not as thick as when we hand cut it. So the only problem I'm finding with this food slicer is it obviously isn't like long enough to be able to get a whole slab of bacon. So what I've done is I've rolled it in half. Huh. And now I can fit it on there. And considering I only paid $70 for this slicer and it's got a lot of positive reviews online, we're gonna try it out. It is slicing it pretty quickly, but I'm excited because I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn the smoker on so we can smoke the other bacon. And then while we're doing church, we will get breakfast ready for during the 9 a.m. service, and then we can eat between the 9 and 11 a.m. service. Ooh, I'm loving that idea. We had about a nine pound pork belly, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six packages. Each one of these are a little over a pound, and what we do is we vacuum seal them and then stick them into the freezer. Each slice weighs about an ounce, so it worked out pretty well, and then we have almost two pounds of bacon in. So there really wasn't much waste on this one because I think we have a little a little over eight and a half pounds of actual bacon. And this stuff, Rachel loves this stuff. It's just like little pieces, you chop it up, you can throw it in if you're roasting Brussels sprouts or kale or anything you can think of. We just chop it up, cook it on the grill and then put it in with our eggs, like mix it in like an omelet. Second slab of pork belly is in the smoker. We're gonna let this smoke for a few hours, put it in the refrigerator and then slice it up, trying something a little different with this one. Well, it's almost 10 o'clock. We just finished our 9 a.m. service for church. It was so, so good. It was really, really good. We're gonna break our fast now. We've been fasting since midnight, Wednesday into Thursday. This is not a banana cream pie soda. No, this is a bulletproof bone broth. If you haven't seen how we make this, I'll leave a link over my head. Basically, it is some kettle and fire bone broth, but you can use any kind of bone broth, even homemade. Then we're adding in some cream of tartar, some uh, red pepper. Does it got some Cajun spices in here? Well, it's got red pepper in it. And then it's also got turmeric, uh, like I said, cream of tartar, some Redmond's real salt, some coconut oil, and some butter. This just helps you break your fast. Great way to break our fast. And it doesn't hurt that it's tasty. Tastes really good. The red pepper Whoa! helps speed up your metabolism, get you going. I'm gonna wait now. Rachel is gonna go to the store with Anthony. That's like their thing to do every Sunday after online church. So I think you guys are just running to the We're gas We're just station. gonna get some gas. Yeah, everything is closed. So they're gonna go do that. I'm gonna start making breakfast. We've got pancakes, bacon, fresh bacon. Just came off of the smoker last night. Wow, it's the Rachel mating call. <laughs> and eggs. And then for dinner, we're gonna have a taco bowl. Was it, wasn't able to get much lettuce, we only have a little bit of lettuce, but I'm going to attempt, since we're eating today and then not gonna yeah. eat for another five days, I'm gonna attempt to make tortillas using pork rinds. Oh yes, let's make this happen. We got these for a quarter, so why not use these to try to make some good tortillas? Hopefully it works. Breakfast time on Easter morning. This is new for us, honestly. Yeah, we I'm, don't usually eat breakfast. I'm not usually home until like three or four o'clock on Easter. <laughs> I've got three eggs cooked with the dome on top, a little bit of cheese cooked on the griddle, a couple slices of our fresh bacon. We sliced it a little bit thinner this time. I'm excited. And then a couple of these high key blueberry pancakes. The texture making them was a little weird, but I think they taste okay. They taste like blueberry pancakes. Wow. Yeah. They're really good. Again, they're almond flour, so they fall apart a little bit quickly. I'm curious what Anthony thinks of these high key pancakes. I made some for him. Are you gonna let us know what it tastes like? What do they taste like? Just tell us. They're good. They're they good? They taste like pancakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna eat, do third service, or second, yeah, third service, right? Third service. Third service. And then relax the rest of our Easter Sunday. Easter parade. I'm stuffed. That was good. I'm not stuffed. I'm happy. <laughs> happy Easter. 
I, that was really good. And again, we don't normally do breakfast, so it's no. kind of weird for us to be eating at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Felt like a present or something I was trying to get away with. So what did you think of those high-key pancakes? They were really good. They were really good. I don't usually crave pancakes. I was never a big pancake eater before. Twice a year, I think to myself, I'd really like a pancake. And mm. it's just enough. I eat a couple of pancakes and then I'm good for another six months. I yeah. mean... I was that person that would go for like the Denny's all you can eat pancakes and say, yeah, give it to me. I'm going to eat a ton of it. Get through like half mm -hmm. of a stack and be like, why did I order all you can eat? I'm right. just not the pancake person, but it totally met that six month craving of wanting a pancake. Yeah, I thought they were pretty good. The texture is a little weird. Not like eating texture, but they fall apart really easily because it's almond flour and that's just how almond flour is when you're baking with it. But it tasted like... A pancake like perfectly like a yeah. blueberry pancake and if you're a mom like me that doesn't cook pancakes perfectly my kids are always expecting the pancakes to come out a little bit like misshapen and wonky so and the ingredients were really good so i will leave a link for them i'm very impressed with it it was me really too. really good but we did think of we gotta try this yes so we this is the new flavor i just cut it open this is the toasted almond coconut keto brick which everybody is saying is going to dethrone peanut butter. Peanut butter was sort of like the topper on coconut for me. So this is kind of interesting because peanut butter flavor- You liked coconut. Along with coconut, I liked both of those. So if you don't know what a keto brick is, this is a meal replacement bar. Most people don't eat it like in one sitting, but this bar is a thousand calories. It has perfect keto macros. This has 91 grams of fat, 34 grams of protein, 14 total carbs, seven grams of dietary fiber. So if you eat the entire bar, it's seven net carbs. But again, that's a thousand calories. That's like 50% of most people's calories for the day. Well, and you think that, oh, that's not gonna be any problem to eat. It is. If you've seen our playlist on the seven days that we Hard did. Eat. Keto chow, not keto chow, but keto brick. Yeah. It was. So this is a keto brick. We're just gonna take a bite out of it. Just to try it. Mmm. Wow. That is good. Definitely the peanut butter consistency with some crunch from coconut. Yeah. I like that. Wow. It's got a really good flavor. Mm hmm The coconut seemed to be a little bit smaller than the original coconut, which that's the one thing I didn't like about the original, that the coconut pieces were too big for me. But I like having something to crunch on. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Flavor's really good. I don't know if it's going to dethrone peanut butter for me, yeah, but it's definitely like number two. Because it definitely tastes more like mocha. Yeah. It's really good. Really good. So oh I'll God. leave a link for them down in the description. Very good. Well, that is going to be our Easter weekend vlog. Mm -hmm. Sorry there wasn't a whole lot of eating because we were fasting. We hope that you had an awesome Easter and that you continue to take the, the beauty of Easter on into this next week. And make sure you tune in tomorrow morning, although this is gonna go up a little late, hopefully you're seeing this on Sunday, Easter Sunday, but we will be uh, live streaming Keto on the Couch this week at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you're seeing this on Easter Sunday, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, we will be live streaming Keto on the Couch and possibly next week as well. It all depends on what happens with the isolation and everybody quarantine and everything else. And we just hope you have a great rest of your day and we will see you tomorrow. Okay. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm gonna go set up on a new bed. And I'm Bye. gonna lay on it. Bye.